This tutorial is going to be focused just on behavior over time diagrams. So what we are going to deal with today or show today is how to augment causal loops that we touched last time and I'm going to add the link uh, into the text to the first video that um, teach how to create this diagram which actually depict what is the classical problem with SSMP perception in organization. So this is, um, this time, what we want to do is to augment it with behavior over time. And behavior over time is very powerful because what you see here is some impact of causality between vendors to marketing and marketing to SSMP and IT to SSMP and other department to SSMP uh, and SSMP uh, impact HR and HR impact back on SSMP and the queue that created here in HR and in legal is actually impacting SSMP and SSMP perception which we capture in, as net promoter score pretty badly. And this is like a vicious cycle that uh, it's actually a systematic problem. So you can replace the SSMP head 100 times. The only way to resolve this problem is to be less risk averse and to or request legal and HR to be less risk averse and reduce or focus on main concerns that you have risk wise or to uplift or upload the work that legal and HR are doing into uh, the department that actually the IT, the marketing department and the HR that, are, that are actually interacting with vendors and therefore move the work from the queues here to here, free those queues and smooth the entire process and re significantly improve SSMP perception. But the problem with those, um, with this diagram, that uh, it's very hard to see how how they're behaving, and that's the reason why it's very common to see in causal loops behavior over time. So behavior over time is actually a set of um, icons or or um, a set of visuals let me um, pick them up from here and put them here that uh, you can uh, you can use you can create your own um, library and reuse them all the time um, and the way to do it is actually by adding a primitive and then add a picture the only way to add your own picture is by when you're going to primitive is to go to custom image then you have a URL and if you put a URL um, that depicts certain type of or all the like every time one uh, URL that depicts uh, to an image that depicts type of behavior over time um, then as you can see you have it uh, if you save it once you can reuse it it is simple so what, oh, what are those? Like those, those graphs actually depict how certain variable is behaving over time. And it's very beneficial because if you edit, you can see the problem in much more vivid way. Let's, an example. Let's say that the behavior over time of legal NHR is forgot the word in English, yeah, oscillation, sorry. So it's going up and down, up and down due to the queue, depending on the behavior. So I can just edit here, here's oscillation A, and here's oscillation B. And let's say that uh, this oscillation um, is, so we don't have here any exponential, so let's take a linear. Let's say that the, the, the behavior over time of IT 
and marketing and all the rest element that are sorry and all the rest element that um, sorry about that all the rest element that um, creating contracts or request contracts are actually linear in nature or exponential even so those are growing all the time those are in kind of equilibrium going up and down per the queue and the request SSMP grew to the maximum that it can and it's kept right now and obviously because of that the SSMP perception is continuously or exponentially going down. Actually, I have it exponentially going up. So, well, it's not going up, it's cute here. Okay. So, now with, with the behavior over time, we can see the conflict that exists here. We can see very nicely that as many groups or department are increasing linearly the demand on SSMP the two elements that support SSMP are actually in kind of an equilibrium going up and down based on um, the queue and the headcount and this is depicted very nicely how what is the conflict actually how it's not just that there are dependencies that create issues, is the behavior over time of each and every element in this or each and every variable in this diagram just create the vicious negative loops that we see here. So that's all. Um, very beneficial. I'm using it all the time. It uh, depicts visually to people uh, why the problem is so it gives it's not depict why it just gives more flavor or to to the diagram and explain how the behavior of each and every variable in the diagram actually create the conflict or in this scenario the conflict it can be the opposite can how each and every behavior, behavior over time create a balancing loop or how each and every um, behavior over time creates actually a positive reinforcing loop. So, um, but um, you can see the visual is definitely helpful. So that's all, guys. Thanks. Bye.